spirits. Spirits. Here is some advice from the Oxford American Dictionary, edited by Eugene Ehrlich et al., Oxford University Press, New York, 1980. Do not confuse spiritual with spirituous. The latter means loaded with alcohol, the former with soulfulness which the latter, some say, instills, though the dictionary seems keen to separate the two conditions, maintaining a distinction between distilling spirits and instilling spirit. No semantic knot can be severed succinctly, just as no drink can be unmixed. Footnote 9. On my birthday, I came home to an empty apartment. No surprise, until I opened the door to our bedroom. It was filled with balloons, balloons in extravagance, hundreds of them, a balloon cocktail, rye, pernod, sweet vermouth, orange bitters, egg white, which danced and reeled around the place for weeks. Half plaths, oval sold animals, half an untraceable recipe. How our child will love these, I thought, even as they puckered and dried. Then my water broke. <laughs> After considerable conflict, we named her Magritte. Hate poem. I hate you truly. Truly, I do. Everything about me hates everything about you. The flick of my wrist hates you. The way I hold my pencil hates you. The sound made by my tiniest bones were they trapped in the jaws of a moray eel hates you. Each corpuscle singing in its capillary hates you. Look out! Four! I hate you! The blue-green jewel of Socklant I'm digging from under my third toenail left foot hates you. The history of this keychain hates you. My sigh in the background as you explain relational databases hates you. The goldfish of my genius hates you. My aorta hates you. Also my ancestors. A closed window is both a closed window and an obvious symbol of how I hate you. <laughs> my voice, curt as a hair shirt, hate. My hesitation when you invite me for a drive, hate. My pleasant good morning, hate. You know how when I'm sleepy, I nuzzle my head under your arm? Hate. <laughs> the whites of my target eyes articulate hate. My wit practices it. My breasts relaxing in their holster. From morning to night, hate you. Layers of hate, a parfait. Hours after our latest row, brandishing the sharp glee of hate, I dissect you, cell by cell, so that I might hate each one individually and at leisure. My lungs, duplicitous twins, expand with the utter validity of my hate, which can never have enough of you breathlessly. Like two idealists in a broken submarine. I had this idea about a lot of poets we know in the around um, to come up with action figures <laughs> with a lot of people's personality traits, all the good ones. But um, so I, there's this character called Poet Barbie that I made. Up. <laughs> Poet Barbie's Lament. She lives surrounded by epithets, monologues, distilled quotations, and panic. 
Dollar store aging cream at her bedside, abandoned dream car on the other. Her red plastic Corvette, pockmarked with wear, imperfect and impractical. Sits astride a white plastic Fisher Price farmhouse fence. Ezra Pound translated from the Chinese that poetry speaks phallic direction. Years before Ken's more than four decade erection required a plastic, plastic surgeon with a plastic, plastic knife. <laughs> An affair with the plastic surgeon's plastic wife. At least he could afford rehab for cuckolds. Poet Barbie's divorce decree reads like a plastic sermon. The woeful tale of a counterfeiter's daughter and closet rhymer. A bit of the old eye for an eye. Or in her case, plastic for plastic. <laughs> her Jamaican receptionist quips, Carmet the Frog no longer exists. His creator and his voice, both now long dead. Well, you know what the existentialists always say. Poet Barbie doesn't know what the existentialists <laughs> always say. Her books are all for show. Can't Google, her computer's just a crooked decorative sticker on an empty shell. Dust to dust, plastic to plastic. Puppets and particle theorists can at least have their string theories. One is that we all come with some kinds of strings. But for puppets, suicide is not an occupational hazard. Church billboard preaches, Hawk, if you love Jesus, text if you want to know him. Subtext reads, just not if you're spiritually trapped or you are 100% recycled plastic made from petroleum byproducts siphoned from the most recent Gulf crisis. You must have a soul to begin with. Two paradigms shift simultaneously. She adjusts her fashion accessories accordingly. Thou shalt not murder implies innocence and the presence of a living energy. She lost the handbook she came with, but refused to be apologetic, launch another thousand ships, start the same old men's wars, or resign in disgrace like Pluto. What was the first thing she ever loved? Probably hairspray, or that awful dream house. More likely a pair of bone-crippling deformed shoes, liquid plastic willingly poured, filling its plastic form, becoming finally hard cracked and unbendable. All right, this is called The Stupid Acts of a Careless Poet. Um, as opposed to my early arrival today, uh, I've, I've been known to be late for some other uh, events. Um, so, this is about that. <clears throat> Stupid Acts of a Careless Poet. I was thinking of peaceful gliding raptors floating effortlessly over snow-draped peaks, reading prayer flags from the blessed blue of the rooftop sky. I was thinking of rushing water so discontented it hurtled over and around every rock and fallen tree to get to where it's gotta go, running the red lights of the setting sun to meet its first date with the sea. I was thinking of hipster poets racing in cars across the great bulge of the vast American continent eating pie and ice cream on benzedrine highs. I was thinking of refugees from the Sudan, the Congo, from Chinese communist oppression, the Colombian death squads. I was thinking of the children of war, wars to fought just to see who's got bigger balls. I was thinking of the myriad of wild eyes blinking at me from trillions of billions of miles away in the inky darkness. I was thinking of my own personal window to the universe. It was earlier such a fiery red, and I watched the creator of heaven and earth steal away with a brush and paint it black. I was thinking how easy life is when you live in the flow. I was thinking of all of these things, and for that I was late. <laughs>